leader of the independent union was gunned down on 2004. The perpetrator was not brought to justice. But instead, two innocent were brought to justice and sentenced to 20 years of jail, despite numerous witnesses that came to testify during the trial, saying that they saw the accuser far away from the, day, uh, from the place of killing. But despite that, they were sentenced to 20 years of jail. So this case of impunity is not an exceptional one. My short-term recommendation, again, please, uh, try, uh, we would like you to convince our government to implement the numerous recommendations of the successive special representative of the UN Secretary General for Human Rights in Cambodia. And also donor can put a benchmark to be met. The third issue that I want to raise with you is land issue. Like you said, land grabbing, forced eviction constitute one of the gross violations of human rights. 80% of Cambodian people live in the rural area and they rely only on the land for their living. Without land, they become resourceless. No access to medical care. No access to education for church, their children. They become vulnerable to all kinds of exploitation, including human trafficking, especially for women and children. These victims, without no more thing to lose, can provoke a social unrest. Social stability is a basic requirement for a harmonious and balanced development. Amnesty International, in its report of 2008, said that 150,000 of people, of Cambodian people, were victims of eviction. So my short recommendation is please help us to convince our government to put a moratorium on eviction and set up a legal framework for redistribution of land. Before uh, I close my short remark, I would like to propose to you a long-term recommendation. We would like you to, we would like to get from you a full support to be able to set up an independent national human rights institution in Cambodia, conform to the UN International Standard called Paris Principle for the promotion and independent and, and protection of human rights. If we can get this kind of uh, institution with your support, of course, we can promote and protect human rights in Cambodia and maybe the life of many Cambodians will be better. Thank you very much for your kind attention and thank you also for allowing us to show you a video on eviction to permit the voice of the victim to be heard. And what was your testimony? Thank you, uh, Tom Linter's Human Rights Commission, for providing me the great opportunity to testify about the violation of workers' right in Cambodia. Uh, my testimony will focus on uh, three issues which affect to the industry in Cambodia. The first issue is the repression of, repression of the freedom of association and assembly, killing union leaders, union activists, ground groundless criminal charges against workers, crackdown on the peaceful labor protesters. And the second issue is violation of fundamental rights of workers through widespread usage of short-term contracts. The, the third issue is enough wage for workers. Related to the first issue, the, the freedom of association is written by uh, first is the murder of uh, union leaders. Uh, uh, Madame Beck also mentioned three union leaders in 2004 were gunned down in the daytime, in the daylight, and in also in the downtown on the street. <coughs> and one of uh, 
Another one was gone down in 2007. No murder have been arrested yet. Just only the three scapegoat has been convicted. Two of them have released on bail, but one is still in jail until now. And the, the local authority normally use violent crackdown on the labor protest, protester, labor rally. Sometimes they arrest without court warrant. So, so even the workers ask for permit. Regarding the law, we do, uh, the worker don't have to ask for me. They just inform for the protest, for, for the strike. But when they ask for the strike, they could, uh, they will not get the permission from the local authority. And also, the criminal charges against the union leaders. Union leaders cannot function their role effectively due to the criminal charges because they normally get the law, uh, criminal lawsuit against them. In case they assist, they try to function their role to protect the members. For example, like in the case of Naga World Casino and Hotel, recently, the 14 members, the 14 vocal representatives were laid off, and then the members were trying to file a complaint to the Ministry of Labor in order to get reinstatement of the 14 members of the 14 representatives. Later on, the 14, main, the 14 workers were uh, summoned by the municipal court to interrogate about the three charges. One, incitement. Second is defamation. And, uh, and the third is disinformation. Um, the freedom of association is also written by short-term contract. Workers cannot join uh, trade union freely because they are under the short-term contract. Just one month uh, one month contract, two month contract, three month contract on main. If the if the worker join trade union, the management just keeps silent. But they will not renew the contract when they, they meet the expiry date. So they written by the short-term contract and uh, look at the impunity is still increasing, so they are really fair to join the trade union. <clears throat> Another, the second violation is the, the violation on the fundamental right through using short-term contract is really forget all the fundamental rights of the workers, such as annual leave. Regarding the labor law of Cambodia, Workers are entitled to 1.5 days per month, totally 18 days per year. But you, they have the right to use it unless they work one year in the, the enterprise. But management never let them to reach one year seniority. When workers reach 11 months, they just let off one man and then call back letters. They start with the new employment, new contract. Static with probation, just pay 45 US dollars. <clears throat> so they lose annually, they lose the right to collective bargaining. They cannot bargain anything. If they bargain, if they complain about their right, if they claim for their right, they will not be renewed. Their contract will not be renewed. Especially the lady. My concern is the women right. As you understand, in the garment sector, 95% of the workforce in the garment sector are female. And female workers in Cambodia, they have big responsibility to support the family. Without their wage, they cannot survive in their family. So they have just only one month contract, two month contract. When they got pregnant, they will, they will be laid off. And uh, my left shoes, my knees, in my case, my knees also, she got laid off due to her pregnancy, just recently. So it is really violated to the labor law, not only the labor law, but constitution of Cambodia, but also to the ILO convention. Not only ILO convention, Cambodian also ratified the CEDAW, 
the Convention on Elimination 